Now, Zamfara and Taraba states last recorded a case of COVID-19 more than two weeks ago. Review of the data from the NCDC has shown. While Taraba state, which has recorded 18 cases thus far, has gone 18 days without a new case, Zamfara, with a total of 76 cases, has not had a case in 20 days. The former, without any casualty, has eight active cases. The latter, on the other hand, discharged all its remaining active eight cases on June 3, making it 30, 71 discharge in all and five deaths. We are now joined by Commissioner for Health in Zamfara State, Yahya Mohammed Konoma, to throw more light on this. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. So what is the and mood there, in the state with no new case of the virus? You say what? I'm asking the mood in the state with no new case of, of the virus in Zamfara. What is the mood? What are you doing to ensure the status quo remains? Yes, actually, we have zero index at present. And that one didn't stop us from... Uh, organizing our sensitization and continuation of, of uh, uh, explaining to our people a public function. Even now, presently, our my governor, Dr. Bill Mohammed Patola Maradu, have already purchased 20 cars to each and every local government for sensitization, with, uh, with speakers for enlightenment. And uh, we already set a step down committee in all local governments so that we can continue doing it. And uh, all our ulamas, our emirs, traditional rulers, and other partners that are working in the states, and other people that are, are doing the charity work, we carry them along. And presently, as I'm talking to you now, we have index zero. And that one didn't stop us from following the ethics and the ethical of the NCDC. Still, our isolation center is still intact. Our staff is still intact. We have no even suspect presently, as I'm telling you. All the doctors in our various flashpoint of hospital that uh, we are waiting to get some cases, but up to now we didn't get. But our isolation centers is already there intact. All our staff, they are running their shift both morning, evening, night. And all our doctors, our number is always on the screen in the media, flashpoints, anybody that have any sign or symptom right from the local government level. We can still accept him after the doctors collect him and see that, uh, yes, he has higher features. We okay. can take his uh, sample and isolate him until, unless when the result is back from NCDC. All right. What, what about testing? In the past 20 days, have you conducted any further testing? And has there been a report that says negative? Or there's been no sign that the virus is still active? Yeah, no. You know, we can't make tests without a victim. We cannot test without a client unless until when the doctors, our doctors in our team, they set somebody to be tested. We can't take sample to, us, to nobody unless when we have a highly suspected patient that was sent to our physician from our flash point hospital in the state. But still our contact tracing, they are still working 247 to see that in case, as we do the other time, and get all those who are positive and taking their samples. And uh, presently, our governor, by the cubicle testing, uh, taking samples, we have them there uh, in, our, in, our, in, our position, in our isolation centers. All right. Uh, the federal government have given leave to states to make decisions on the reopening of prayer houses and businesses. How is your state implementing this? And when do you plan to reopen schools? No, that one is not to my own uh, side. I am not the one to comment on the opening of the schools. It's a, it's, a, it's a presidential order that was given to us that we should close all the schools, and we are still waiting for, for the presidential order to close the schools. But I'm telling you, all our worshiping centers in the past are so that things is relaxing. We are doing all our prayers. We want, um, we, we, uh, on social distance, we still go to mosques and go to church and do other activities. Okay, what are some of the and lessons, quickly, the that the virus has taught the state that you think maybe others can copy? Yeah, you see, continuous sensitization, talking with media centers, involving all the religious leaders, traditional rulers, all stakeholders, partners that are working in the state, 
and other charity groups. That's what uh, makes us to be having our success. And uh, let the governor of each and every state become committed. Our governor is committed each and every night. Every day we are working together 247 with him. I'm telling you that uh, for the past three months, when we have those patients, we didn't sleep for three hours. Whatever we request, our governor is always ready to buy it for us. But transportation, medications, equipment, and other things, even both consumables and other things, we are always having them in abundance. As I'm talking to you now, all our best marks, sanitizers, concentrators, PCR machine, we are even nearly to open a testing center. When we finish the NCDC already visited the forest state and they have seen the machines and the governor give them uh, uh, we give uh, he provide uh, uh, an office for them so we are only waiting for, for the necessary things to be done by the NCDC so that we can start testing all those our PCR machines. No all right, honorable commissioner. Thank you very much for your time and insight on what's happening in Zamfara State. Okay, thank you so much for that. And uh, inshallah, by good grace, I think we have done bye-bye to the COVID-19 in, in my state. Because of the commitment of my governor and other stakeholders and other professionals that are working as a state board partners. And we just have to thank the NCDC for sending the accurate results. And the very day that uh, we, la we take our last consignment of eight people when they I, are I, I, I'm really it's sorry actually, to interrupt we you, have sir. A very uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. That's the much time we'll let us have on the program. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Okay. Thank you so much. Please. All right.